Welcome to Leicester Square and we're in the heart of Leicester Square and we were here and this was filmed on Thursday the 15th of June. Yes, just last week if you're watching this when this has come out. And we're here for the premiere of Greatest Days. Now, if you walk down here on a Thursday night, more often than not there's some premiere or something happening where they close off Leicester Square as you can see. But this time I was fortunate to get into the premiere and here you can see the host Jenny Faulkner on stage and about to introduce, well, I think I'll let her tell you. And the music in this film is all inspired. Uh, they have inspired everything from their music for this film. You know who they are. They are Barry, Harold, and Mar. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a very warm, festive square welcome for the one and only. So yes, during this premiere, Take That came out and sung some of their songs. They actually sung a set of three songs. And if you watch the coronation celebrations and the concert that happened after the coronation in May, you will remember Take That singing some of their songs then. So they had a good rehearsal beforehand. But this film I managed to snuck into the premiere of, yes, Take That are doing three songs and their music is involved in the film. Hence, that's why they rocked up and they did this performance. This doesn't happen every Thursday night. Right, we're going to have a little bit of a listen to some of their music and then I'll come back and tell you about Leicester Square on Thursdays. <laughs> Don't worry, we've got another bit of music coming up a little bit later. That should be able to sneak this one past YouTube. Right, now, the incredible thing is, if you walk through Leicester Square at about six o'clock on a Thursday night, more often than not, the square is cordoned off because a lot of the UK premieres, London premieres especially, happen here, right in the middle of Leicester Square, and then they go into the Odeon. And the reason for that is there's over 1,600 seats in the Odeon here on Leicester Square. So it's a great place for a premiere to bring the, um, well, those who have been specially invited and those who managed to sneak in. And this time I managed to get into the premiere event. Don't ask me how, I just had to be standing in the right place at the right time. And was also offered tickets to go in and see the film as well. There you go, and a bit of I want you back. Ah, oh, there you go. So if you're a Take That fan, wow, talk about being in the right place at the right time. And there were lots of people that were. So once again, if you're in London on a Thursday, it's always worth heading to Leicester Square just to see if there is anything happening and just see if you can blag your way in. Now, as you can see here, this is one of the main stars, Ashling B. Uh, she's one of the main stars in the film. And as I said, it's just been released globally. And you can see you've got video screens as well, which is really convenient. And this is the bridge where the great and the good go from Leicester Square over the top of the walkway where us peasants walk and then into the Odeon Cinema itself. And also, if you like spotting celebrities, the good news is you can do that here. Now, this is completely lost on me because I've got no idea who anyone is, although I did recognise one or two people. If you're wondering what those lights are, that's everyone standing round with their film cameras ready to interview the stars of the film for the TV for the next day and over the next couple of days to do the media rounds. So they bring all the guests up and as you can see, you can see Ashling B is on here and also take that come back on and don't worry, I've got that filmed as well for you. So you can see that in just a couple of seconds. So here's a London visited top tip. Thursday evening, Leicester Square, go and have a look. But you want to do it about six o'clock, probably about half five to six o'clock to get near the front, just in case you're lucky enough that the security will let you through. And also, of course, be nice to the security guys because they're the ones that may well get you a ticket to go in as well. So if you're thinking, did I get in there and go and see the film? No, I didn't. Even though I was offered a ticket to go in and see it, I had other things scheduled to go and film in London to bring you this fantastic channel here at London Visited. But then again, if a really good one comes along, you never know, I might whip in there like a whip it, like a thing possessed, grab me seat and go and see it. But it's certainly something that I'm gonna try again. Jenny doing a great job as usual. Oh, That's such a hard, hard gig this. Well done. Thank you very much. Well, it's exciting that you guys are here. Have you done a premiere like this before of all your own music? These guys know. Yes, we have, haven't we? I think we did a Kingsman one, didn't we? Kingsman. 
So I hope you've enjoyed a little extra here from Leicester Square's premiere. Oh, I feel like I should be interviewing for the TV, don't you? Anyway, this was Greatest Days from Leicester Square. And this is me, just happened to gate crash the party on the purple carpet, as they say. Now, if you're a movie fan and you love Harry Potter, I've put a link in the top right hand corner to our video that we've done on all the great places you can see in London, which they've used to film different locations within the Harry Potter films. So if you click on that, I'll see you in there.